Hey everyone, it's Aisha. Let's talk about something nobody really wants to discuss, hemorrhoids. Now, before you click away, trust me, this is important stuff. Basically, hemorrhoids are like varicose veins, but they happen around your bum. They're swollen blood vessels that can cause a whole lot of discomfort. We're talking about pain, itching, even bleeding. Not exactly the recipe for a good time. The good news is, though, that hemorrhoids are incredibly common and usually manageable. Let's talk about the bathroom, shall we? We've all been there, straining to go when nature calls. But that straining? It's a big no-no when it comes to hemorrhoids. Think of it like this. When you're pushing too hard, you're putting a ton of pressure on those delicate veins down there. It's like squeezing a garden hose. Eventually, something's gotta give. That pressure can cause the veins to bulge and swell, leading to, you guessed it, hemorrhoids. Here's the deal. Both constipation and diarrhea can wreak havoc on your digestive system. And yes, that includes your risk of hemorrhoids. Constipation means you're straining more often, which we already know is a major culprit. But diarrhea, it's like a double whammy. Not only can those frequent trips to the bathroom irritate those sensitive veins, but diarrhea can also dehydrate you. And guess what dehydration leads to? You got it. Even more constipation and a vicious cycle of discomfort. Growing a human is incredible, but it can also put a strain on your body, literally. As your baby grows, it puts pressure on your lower abdomen, which, you guessed it, puts pressure on those veins in your rectal area. Plus, hormonal changes during pregnancy can slow down your digestive system, making you more prone to constipation. It's a perfect storm for hemorrhoids, unfortunately. Now, I'm all about body positivity, but it's important to talk about how excess weight can impact our health, and yes, that includes hemorrhoids. Carrying extra weight, especially around the midsection, increases the pressure on those veins in your rectal area. It's like constantly carrying a heavy backpack. Eventually, it's going to weigh you down. Let's face it, many of us live pretty sedentary lives. We sit at desks all day, then come home and sit on the couch. But all that sitting can be a pain in the, well, you know, when you sit for long periods, you're restricting blood flow to your lower body, including those veins in your rectal area. Standing for long stretches isn't ideal either, as it increases pressure on those veins. Aging, it's a privilege, but it comes with some downsides, and one of them is that our tissues naturally weaken over time. This includes the tissues that support the veins in our rectal area, making us more susceptible to hemorrhoids as we get older. Here's the thing, some of us are genetically predisposed to hemorrhoids. If hemorrhoids run in your family, you might be more likely to develop them yourself. It's not your fault, but it's good to be aware of so you can take extra precautions. Let's talk about fiber. Fiber is your digestive system's best friend, and it's essential for preventing constipation and, you guessed it, hemorrhoids. Fiber adds bulk to your stool, making it easier to pass and reducing the need to strain. So load up on those fruits, veggies, and whole grains. The good news is that there are plenty of things you can do to prevent and manage those pesky hemorrhoids. First and foremost, drink plenty of water. Staying hydrated keeps things moving smoothly down there. Regular exercise is also crucial. It gets your blood flowing and helps regulate your digestion. And when nature calls, don't hold it in. Delaying bowel movements can lead to constipation, which we know is a big no-no. There are tons of over-the-counter creams, ointments, and suppositories that can provide temporary relief from hemorrhoid symptoms. Look for products that contain ingredients like hydrocortisone or witch hazel, as these can help reduce itching, inflammation, and pain. A sitz bath is a simple yet effective way to relieve hemorrhoid discomfort. It's basically a warm water bath for your bottom. The warm water helps soothe inflammation and promote healing. You can find sitz baths at most drugstores, or you can simply fill your bathtub with a few inches of warm water. If lifestyle changes and OTC treatments aren't cutting it, your doctor might recommend a minimally invasive procedure like rubber band ligation. It sounds scarier than it is, I promise. Basically, the doctor places a tiny rubber band around the base of the hemorrhoid, cutting off its blood supply so it shrinks and falls off. 
Sclerotherapy is another minimally invasive procedure that can effectively treat hemorrhoids. During this procedure, your doctor injects a solution into the hemorrhoid, which causes it to shrink and eventually disappear. In rare cases when other treatments haven't been successful, surgery to remove the hemorrhoids might be necessary. This is typically reserved for severe cases or when hemorrhoids are causing significant complications. Sometimes the best remedies are the simplest ones. Applying a cold compress or ice pack to the affected area can help reduce swelling and discomfort. Aloe vera gel is another great natural remedy. Its anti-inflammatory properties can soothe irritation. And believe it or not, a warm bath with Epsom salt can work wonders. Remember, everyone's experience with hemorrhoids is different. What works for one person might not work for another. The important thing is to listen to your body and seek professional medical advice if you're experiencing persistent or severe symptoms. And don't be afraid to talk to your doctor. They've seen it all. By adopting healthy habits, staying informed, and seeking appropriate treatment, you can take control of your hemorrhoid health and find relief from those uncomfortable symptoms.